What's more valuable to college graduates when it comes to salary levels once they enter the workforce? The prestige of the school they attended or their major? Well, it depends on the major. Eric Eide, chair of the Department of Economics at Brigham Young University, is lead author of the study, and he joins us now to discuss. Professor Eide, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. It's good to be here. So how much does the prestige level of a school factor into post-college salaries across the board? Well, that depends on what the major is. There are both uh, where you go to college and what you study are important decisions that all college students need to make. Uh, most parents and students, as they contemplate their college choice decisions, they think about trying to get into the most prestigious school possible, which also means it's probably fairly expensive. Um, and whether or not that's going to lead to unnecessary debt could partially depend on what major the, uh, the student pursues. We, in our study, we looked at how the prestige or selectivity of the college interacts with what the student chooses to study. And so uh, one of the interesting findings that we have from this is that for people who major in business and liberal arts, it matters tremendously where someone goes to school. Uh, they have, th those who attend a more selective college have significantly higher earnings than those who attend uh, mid-tier or less selective colleges. When you say um, significantly, what percentage are we talking about? Um, so business majors would be one of the ones where there's a large premium, mm -hmm. and that's uh, about 18%, uh, ten, this is 10 years, this is earnings 10 years after college graduation, about 18% between someone who attends a selective college versus a less, less selective college. Yeah, that is, that is significant. And you say that you were startled by the fact, though, that science and engineering degrees serve students well no matter what college they attended, correct? Yeah, we just intu intuitively we thought we'd see a similar pattern for STEM-type fields. But interestingly, we found that there really isn't much of a uh, earnings difference on average between engineering science majors who attended the more selective versus the less selective colleges. I guess the demand for STEM careers is so high that it doesn't matter where you go to school. <laughs> but um, are there within that, are there certain careers where it matters more, engineering versus math? Well, we weren't able to look at it in quite that fine a detail. Uh, we had to aggregate uh, the different um, engineering degrees into one kind of general sure. degree. But if you, if you look at um, publicly available data, there are certain engineering fields that, uh, that are very high. Petroleum engineering, for example, is one that has extremely high earnings. Right. Now, so what message does this send to families then when it comes to investing in college for their kids? What sort of math should they be doing? I think the, the takeaway from this, the practical takeaway for students and their parents is that they, they need to do some homework. They need to dig in the, into the numbers a little bit and try to figure out for their particular case um, what are the, the relative costs and the benefits of both uh, where they go to college and what the student uh, pursues. Most universities have net cost calculators that will tell you, um, will estimate what you can expect the net tuition to be. And there are some publicly available data sources that uh, can tell you the median earnings of different majors um, and median earnings for people who attend different colleges. And um, I recently saw something on Payscale that has how much you can earn with a particular major at a particular college. And so these are the types of things that parents and students ought to consider uh, because it can vary quite a bit yeah. for different individuals. Sounds like it's really worth crunching those numbers. Professor Ivey yeah. at Brigham Young University, thank you so much for that. Thank you.